We're going to work on Shaw Corporation's multi-step income statement. These are their income statement accounts and we need to put them in our multi-step income statement. So a multi-step income statement would start with sales, less cost of goods sold, and it would go down to the subtotal gross profit. And this is a required subtotal for a multi-step income statement in good form. And this is a measure of how well they're pricing above their cost. And it's a very important measure of your impact in the marketplace. And even small shifts in gross margin tend to um, really influence decision makers because if you can't price above your cost, you're not going to make up for it later by somehow negotiating better expenses. So uh, we're going to have operating expenses, typically selling, and general and administrative. And we have some interest expense and interest revenue. We might have gains and losses, and then income tax expense. So these are kind of the big pieces of the multi-step income statement. So let's go over here and see what we have. Advertising expense, commission expense, those are selling expenses. So we're going to put them there. Um, cost of goods sold, of course, we're going to put there. Um, depreciation, okay, so this is the beginning of general administrative, so there's depreciation on the building, insurance, oh, well, that's a selling expense there. Depreciation, rent, salaries, supplies, there we go. And let's add the selling cost. Insurance sales auto. There we go. And then interest expense, non operating item, interest revenue. And I'm going to make interest expense negative because in the operating section, you can have plus or minus. So it, it's helpful to have an extra clue because those can go either way. For the expenses, we know they're all minuses, so there's not really any particular need for brackets. Although you can put them in if you like them. So there's the sales revenue. And then the income taxes, they are put in down below after the income before taxes subtotal. So the bolded are the subtotal lines that you'll need to learn to put in your multi-step income statement. Operating income is typically used to evaluate management because the non-operating items, the interest rate and so forth, are things that management can't influence and is not expected to be an expert on. So they're typically evaluated just on operating income or above. We've calculated here the gross profit margin, which is gross profit on top of sales. Here it is. It's typically uh, expressed as a percent. And there you go for Shaw.